Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Raquel with Jen Sims. And uh, last time we were with one of my Sims, Dominique Sands, the homeless chick. And she's throwing it back in the club. You, want, you may be wondering why. Apparently she's in a club called Parathias and she was invited by a homegirl throwing it back with the ball head. And so in order to make money and pay off our bill, we're going to ask for money <laughs> all, all night. <laughs> so... Uh, this is Raquel. She's actually one of my Sims from another story, and I just absolutely love her. <laughs> she's my she's my Sim self, so she looks a lot like me. Um, just like we did in the first episode, we're gonna try this picture thing and see if we can get our skills up and sell them. And we didn't get any better. It's okay. We're gonna delete. We're gonna sell and get whatever simoleons we can get from that. Uh, but yeah, she joined Parathis. I think that's how you pronounce it. And these are our friends, apparently. And I don't like the atmosphere. It's just way too flirty and the energy is super weird. So she asked her money. And she's getting her money. And we're just going to get out of here. Like, I don't know why she joined it. Because I didn't, I didn't join her. Like I said in the first save, this is a very old save. So she was doing her own thing, apparently. Uh, whoa. Well, there's an orgy going on with Ava from the group. And that's the energy I was talking about. It's just way too flirty, just way too much. We're going to remove ourselves from this group and go home and continue with redeveloping our lives on our lot, okay? Okay, in the last Let's Play, I built, Rock I built Dominique some walls because I felt like she needs shelter. But in all, it just looked really unrealistic to me. So I decided to knock down all the walls in my own way. Knocked down all the walls, gave her some steel beams, and lifted the so-called shack above the ground so she's at least out of the snow. Put the stairs there, removed the door, um, and I went ahead and fixed all the, the things, the bed and the nightstand with the money that we had saved. You know, one thing I actually noticed with the shelter and the plants were that inside the building, the plants seem to be flourishing, but without the so-called walls, they seem to be a little dormant, and that's fine. Uh, I thought they were actually dead. So I'm glad to have built Dominique's a uh, shack. You know, initially, I named Dominique as a homeless, you know, person who was struggling. But not Dominique has her own land. Dominique has people that she socialized. Dominique is going to be just fine. Dominique also had a terrible Christmas that I was not paying attention to. So we're going to we're going to brighten her up with a what is snow angel because snow angels are delightful. And with all the money that we asked for in the club and I found they're not own ladies and gentlemen, we have paid our first bill, our first bill. And I'm so happy about it. So without the shack, we're also not using any, you know, that much power. Uh, I got rid of the fridge. So these are our stats. So we're going to find some more goods and hopefully we can, uh, <laughs> nice. We got a sink for hygiene. Uh, no, don't, unless you're giving us some money, we don't want it. <laughs> we got sink, a uh, space rock that I'm sure I can get some simoleons out of. Some simoleons and some recyclable goods that I don't know how to use. And a bike. See, <laughs> I, I manifested this. We're collecting things and we're also collecting children. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a good thing, but yes, we're going to, I'm going to put this space rock onto our table so we can, yes, wait, we're going to get some coins with this. So this sell was, this yard sale was really great because I was selling things. I was selling things, y'all. People were buying my stuff. They were buying my snow gloves. They were telling me I was stinky, but I don't care because they were giving me money and that's what we need. Um, whoa. Whoa, whoa, tell me, just going wrong, going wrong. I'm gonna fix all these people, I'm gonna fix you. Except you, hot mama. I'm gonna fix everybody. I'm I think I'm gonna make a video about it too. That's a cop. That's the cop from the first video. That's his, he looks, he looks all right. I'm, I'm gonna fix everybody. And fix <laughs> Dominic's hygiene. <laughs> look at Dominic's inventory, like that's a lot of money. We got a sink, we got a fridge, look at all those frogs that we're gonna sell. Um, but that's a beautiful sink that we found. Look how gorgeous it is. I think she's a scammer, but I want to see how far this goes. Yeah, so instead of with the money that we earn, I'm going to give her some, not some, they're walls. I'm going to call them walls. So one wall, then a short wall, 
Um, and then as time progresses, I'm gonna give her an actual shack, an actual building. I also bought her a handcraft table because I wanted to enhance all of her skills. That way she can be on her entrepreneurship vibe, you feel me? Like handy, photography, painting, singing. I just want her to be a renaissance sim. So in a matter of like 10 minutes, I went to the garbage can and I found Dominique a tub. I found her a toilet. She handcrafted a shelf, handcrafted a mirror, and it also turned to springtime. <laughs> so she, her shack is coming together. We have the whole setup and uh, I think I bought her generator as well. So we're getting her social levels up with her plants. Everything is going great for Dominique. I'd like to turn everybody's attention to another one of my sims. This is Nicholas Lucas, and as you can see, this is his home. He's a bit of a hoarder, uh, an old junkyard, basically. And, oh man, I forget who built this lot, but I'll add it below. But I love it. It really embodies his character. As you can see from his traits as well, he's erratic. And although Dominique is paranoid, erratic is something different. Like, he's in another world. Uh, and I'd actually like to see them interact. And as you can see from his home, he's definitely not homeless. Uh, he he owns land. He's just a uh, yeah. He just you just, just gotta get it together. I actually love his getup. Like it's very fitting. He's he's not even really watching television. Um, so hopefully we can give him some therapeutic interactions with our entrepreneur Dominique. And y'all, please look at this sim. She's actually just so gorgeous and i cannot wait till we we've get up we've gotten out of this phase in her life and just put a little weight on her doll her up get her hair done um and hopefully maybe we can uh fix her and lucas up together <laughs> look at them stop facing gazing to the stars the whole point of introducing uh nicholas to dominique was because of this marriage arrangement proposal for her to get some simoleons so we're on our first day on a community lot there's wilson again and she's just very tense <laughs> she's tense because this came out of nowhere and luckily this is basically our valentine's day so we're gonna knock out two birds and one stone you know try to get their romantic vibes up and get her some coins you feel me so we're gonna start with some gift giving and hopefully he's very receptive looks receptive looks like he likes it oh nice she's pushing this man on the, she's pushing this grown man on the swing and uh, i didn't notice we weren't on a date so i'm gonna put them in date mode <laughs> she's making him laugh you know giving him company socializing with the people in the area and uh just to top it off a notch we, we need to keep it going and yes there it is there it is ladies and gentlemen we are almost there <laughs> oh he's loving that yes yeah, so um, the date is about to end and end it perfectly so hopefully this well, hopefully this and that uh increases their <laughs> increases their romantic i'm just doing everything so dominique can get married and get these simoleons um uh, you know, I was actually going to leave this part unblurred because I wanted to show just how thin um, and sick looking that, you know, my girl look. But other than that, she's proposing to this man. They're about to elope. <laughs> she's like, you see this ring, baby? You're about to be mine. <laughs> You're about to get this coin. <laughs> so they're together now. The only thing I'm not gonna do is move him into our household because I don't need him simoleons. We're doing this ourselves. Uh, yes. Unfortunately, I don't even really know how much she earned from this arrangement, but I get, we were Look, everything went well. Love day went well. We got simoleons. She's she's a happy married sim now. We have a place to live. We are making simoleons, and hopefully, we can build a comfortable lifestyle together. So, thank you so much for watching, and until the next episode. See you later.